Hey guys, and welcome to a Karapak Normal Beginner's Guide. This guide is made to help you guys get your first kills on the boss on normal mode, and so I won't go super in-depth on all the different ways to counter the abilities the boss does, but rather explain an easy way to survive the boss fight and get yourself more familiar with it. So to start off, you enter the boss room and Karapak will jump down on the platform you're standing on and begin the fight. The boss has 200,000 HP, but also has three phases where he goes back to full HP each time a new phase starts, and the boss begins a new phase at 50,000 HP, so you effectively only need to do 150,000 damage every phase. Primarily, the boss attacks with magic damage, so this should be your protection prayer active at all times, except if I state otherwise for specific mechanics. There are three main abilities the boss will rotate during the fight. The voice lines that indicate the different abilities are... I'll tear right through you. Shortly after, he will shoot a magic projectile at your location that stuns you. You can avoid this by using anticipation or freedom. After that, there will be multiple magic projectiles going back into the boss from where you were initially standing when the first projectile was launched. The way you counter this whole ability is by just avoiding the stun or removing it, and then moving away from your previous location. The second attack will conjure the voice line, you will break beneath me. When you see this voice line, Karapak will fly up in the air, a few seconds later he will land on top of you, stunning you and dealing melee damage, and most importantly, knocking off your stun immunity. He will do this action three times in a row, meaning that you will get stunned at least once. If you anticipate the first one and freedom the second one, the third one will stun you. During this time you want to do protect from melee as your protection prayer, but you can actually not devotion this damage, the boss will actually just ignore the devotion. So you will have to take some damage here, and the best way of avoiding this damage is just by using protection from melee, using some stun immunities and running away from the boss when he lands, as he will do rapid melee damage if you stand at his location where he lands. The third ability will call for the voice line, witness the power of the staff. Avoiding this ability is pretty simple. A line of electricity will spawn at one side of the room going across the entire area. You can't walk through this without taking damage even if it has small gaps in it. They are not large enough to walk through and you will get hit. If you do get hit, you will take around 1500 damage per tick and it takes pretty fast. The most simple way to counter this is to just surge or escape through them. This way you take no damage at all from this ability. When you've got these abilities down, you're in a good spot to learn the rest of the fight, which is just the same abilities, but more of them, because when Karapak goes down to 50,000 health and the second phase starts, you will receive an extra button that is called Time Warp. This button, when pressed, will take a snapshot of where you're at HP-wise, cooldowns, prayer points, adrenaline, and location, and if you press the button again or automatically after 10 seconds, you will return to the state you're at. And at the same time as the second phase start and you receive this button, he will duplicate himself, making the fight go on as normal, but now with a clone copying the same abilities as the boss performs them. The clone is not attackable and is just mimicking what the boss does, so you will have to deal with double the abilities basically. When Karapak goes down to 50,000 HP in the second phase, the same thing will occur, another clone will spawn and you will now have to fight three of the same boss at the same time. Finally, in the third phase, Karapak will at 50,000 HP in a next fashion restore himself to 75,000 HP and the last part of it will begin. The boss will rapidly become stronger and stronger in a pure DPS race to finish the boss before he kills you. At this point make sure to do the most amount of damage possible and this is the only really part of the fight where your damage really matters. And if you do not have the damage to kill the boss in the time where he will become so strong that he basically one shots you, you can use abilities as devotion with magic prayer to uh, prolong the fight or other defensive abilities. But if he becomes so strong that you basically die from one hit, then I would recommend you to try to increase your DPS somehow. But that is honestly the entire fight in a nutshell. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you get your first kill on the boss. Of course, the, this is the first day of the boss being released, so there is most likely going to be new ways of handling the mechanics, but I just wanted to be able to give you guys a simple beginner's guide so you can just see all the abilities and how you will have to avoid them in at least a way that works decently enough for me to get more than one kill per trip. 
of course I have decent gear so if you have pretty bad gear or you have like tier 70 weapons I would probably say that you want to get tier 80 weapons at least before going to this boss mostly for the last part of the DPS race. If you do really bad damage at that part specifically you are going to struggle with this boss quite a lot. But for now that is it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it and leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see future content or any of the videos on the screen right now. The playlist to one of my Iron Man series. Have a good one guys. Take care.